What is up, y'all? It is a good old Wednesday night, and I'm going to be baking the kids some bread because I've been promising them to break, bake them something. And so, since I haven't gone to the grocery store and gotten them any Christmas related, it's still fall, it hasn't become winter yet, so I'm going to be baking them these fall um, this fall bread it's orange and cranberry I've been promising them to make them this bread for a while um, so yeah I figured I'd chit chat with you guys while I also bake I'm testing out our new um, toaster oven we got this brand new black and decker toaster oven our mother-in-law got it for us and um, it has a bake setting on it. So I'm super excited to see how this bread comes out and if the bake setting, you know, lives up to its standards. It says that it can bake, it can broil, you know, and you can also cook things in there. I've been seeing a whole bunch of recipes on Pinterest for toaster ovens. So yeah, I'm super excited about to bake this bread and chit chat with you guys. <laughs> to 57 minutes um so this video is not gonna be that low but we gotta we got some time to chit chat okay all right so we'll see how much i get to chit chat with my without my kids interrupting um but yeah a few things i've been wanting to update about is one how my gluten-free dairy-free eating is going it's okay um i haven't been eating the best because i haven't really had time to really like set a list and grocery shop I mainly just go into the store really quickly to get the kids what they need and then I just end up eating just vegetables or salad and I'm getting really tired of vegetables and salad so I um, am starting to make myself a I won't say meal prep but I'm starting to make myself like a weekly type menu um, so that I can um, start eating better and eating different kind of meals because there's so many meals that you can still eat like I was thinking like I wasn't gonna be able to eat a lot of things you can still eat the same things that you're eating before they have so many things gluten-free I mean breads buns you know pasta all that stuff and um, dairy-free Oh my gosh, guys, I have to tell you about this cheesecake that my mother bought me for my birthday. My birthday just passed on November 28th. I turned 26 and um, I actually, my birthday fell on Thanksgiving this year. So we ended up having a Thanksgiving slash birthday party at my parents' house and it was so much fun. My parents, my husband, my sister's family, they all showed me so much love and um, Oh, I forgot. I feel a little emotional, but yeah, they showed me so much love, and um, my sister was so great. My sister is eight months pregnant. Okay, she cooked the whole Thanksgiving meal, and uh, she was very, um, what's the word? She accommodated me in so many ways so that I can enjoy all the great food. The only thing that I didn't get to eat was the macaroni and cheese. That's okay. Next year, I'm making a gluten-free, dairy-free macaroni and cheese. Don't even trip. But everything was so good. And my mom, she went out to good old um, Whole Foods and found me not only a gluten-free cake, but she also found me a gluten-free, dairy-free cheesecake. Y'all, I, I kept the box because I wanted to show y'all. <laughs> and this is the packaging that it was in. 
this brand i've seen it with so many things with the gluten-free dairy-free pizzas i think this it's pronounced da daya daya um anyways so yeah this was a pumpkin spice cheesecake you see dairy-free gluten-free soy-free i was thinking like you know it wouldn't taste the same as you know regular cheesecake but i would probably be able you know to get through it y'all this cheesecake okay is so freaking bomb you can't even tell that it's dairy free. You can't even tell that it's gluten free. It would just melt in your mouth. <sighs> I'm not exaggerating. It's so bomb. So I would say that if you're looking for, they have different flavors. My mom said that they had a blueberry one. I'm going to go try it. They're a little expensive though. This, I know everything that's pretty much the dairy free, vegan, all that stuff is expensive. So that's just a disclaimer. There's not really too many cheap things that you can buy. That's another thing I've been running into. It's, that's why I've been eating vegetables and rice and stuff because a lot of this stuff is expensive. But this is worth it. I'm gonna try the New York and I'm gonna try the blueberry, but this brand y'all, they have it at Whole Foods, they have it at Target for sure. And I have seen it at Walmart. Do they have this at Target? I, I think I seen it at Walmart. I don't. I have to check. It might be at Target too. But go get this. Wow. So yeah. Another thing um, that I'm doing is I already told you guys that I stopped eating meat. Um, I am trying to lose more weight. I've lost a bit of weight. I'm fitting some clothes that I couldn't fit before. I feel good, I feel like I look good, but I do wanna, um, what is it? I wanna speed up the process a little bit. Because like I said, I have a wedding in February, it's my mother-in-law's wedding. And um, I just wanna look good, I wanna look, you know, like I said, I am feeling good, but I just wanna look better, okay? And so, my husband has agreed that we are gonna go on like a challenge where with me and him were every morning and every night with sit-ups and push-ups so i'm doing that challenge with him so yeah that's what i'm doing with my hubby my hubby is super skinny i, I don't know if y'all really peeped him he's pretty much wizard kelly in the vlogs but um he's super skinny he don't need to lose weight he's trying to gain so that's why we're on two different um spectrum so um that's one thing another thing let me check on my cake. Cake, but this is actually bread. It's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. Okay. So, I really love doing my makeup. And so I, well, I used to really love doing my makeup until I became a mom that I wasn't really doing my makeup too much. But I recently, the kids are getting a little bit older, so I recently just started, you know, doing little things. And then when I was off for a week, we had like a little party at my dad's house for a Cowboys football game. And I did, I really sat there and took my time and did my makeup and I was like, wow, like I'm actually kind of good at this. And I really always wanted to be a makeup artist and do makeup and stuff like that. So I'm like, I think I need to start getting back in. You know, the kids are older, like that's not really an excuse like for me not to, you know, prep myself up, you know, make myself feel good i don't need the makeup but do i like to do it i do and so then for my birthday i did the same thing and i recently discovered eyelashes okay y'all it i when people be like oh look it's my complete until you put on some eyelashes i really didn't see it until i put on some eyelashes and it just made my makeup look just like 10 times better i was like oh okay <laughs> so they weren't lying about these lashes now the only thing is is that of course like i got my eyelashes from the beauty supply store because i was like i'm not about to spend a whole bunch of money and barely know how to put these things on so they were a bit dramatic okay and but everybody liked them and they said that they were super cute so i was like okay well i guess you know i don't know they were a bit dramatic to me so i'm gonna just try a couple of different pair but it really did make a difference in the makeup look and then i was watching jackie Ina's page and she had gave a tip on putting on eyelashes she was saying to hold the mirror down here and like look down and um so you can see your natural you know eye line you know your lash line better and girl did that work because the the when i first was trying to put them on i had glue all on my real eyelashes they were stuck together i was trying to open my eye it was stuck to my bottom lash it was a hot mess but then when she taught me that trick now i could just put those suckers on 
but I do need to get the actual tweezers because I just have regular tweezers and I can tell that it makes a difference when you have those tweezers that are meant for eyelashes when you're putting them on that definitely makes a difference so I'm gonna invest in those and then I asked everybody they asked me like oh what I want for my birthday and I was like you know an Ulta gift card and then I had picked out um, a makeup palette for Jay to get me and he actually got it <laughs> not saying no that sounds wrong like as if like he never buys me anything that's not true but Jay's the type of person that if you say like oh get this for me he back me the money go get it like <laughs> you know I don't know what you're talking about but he actually got what I asked him for and I'm super happy I'll be um opening that real soon but I, I'm also waiting before I open that one I'm waiting on the one that I got from Ulta and so I looked um, up a couple of different palettes that everybody was talking about that everybody felt was popular. And one that everybody was talking about was, uh, well, a company was Juvia's Place. And um, I checked that out. They had said it was black owned. So I looked up, you know, what the palettes look like. And I really like the colors. I really like, you know, the packaging um, of the actual palette. So I went ahead and ordered one of those palettes. And I got some more concealer because I really need it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited because I've been using the same Morph 350 palette. I don't even know how long I would have to ask my bestie how long I've had that palette because me and her got the palette at the same time because I didn't even know who Morph was or whatever. Mor Morphe. Mor See, I don't even be knowing how they pronounce stuff, y'all. This is how much I'm just out of the loop on so many things. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, so I've been using that same palette for a long time, doing the same looks, looking up. I just recently started looking up different looks that I didn't even realize that you could do. And so yeah, I'm just really, really getting back into the makeup thing. And I'm excited about it because y'all, I was looking good on my birthday. I was looking good at that party. If you haven't already, you need to be following me on Instagram. Shay what on underscore, Shay with two Y's. That's how I spell um, Shay, you know. If you're wondering where Shay comes from, because you're like, your name's Princess. Um, why do people call you Shay? Um, they call me Shay because my middle name. And so that's just a nickname. They call me Shay because of what my middle name is. So follow me on Instagram, y'all. I'll put my handle down low. But um, yes, honey. Yes, the bread is baking, my love. No, I'm so confused. It didn't look like anything was happening when I had it on the bake setting. So I think you're supposed to set the temperature. I'm so confused. I don't... I don't know where the instructions are for this thing. I need to find the instruction because I think I was just wasting my little life. But now see how it's like orange in there? It was, it, nothing was going on, so. Okay, so I think something is actually happening now because it didn't look like that bread was rising or anything at all, so yeah. Um, the thing about a toaster oven is that it does cook faster than a regular oven, so. You can't really go by the instructions that's on the box. So I'm gonna be definitely watching the cake and testing, testing it with a toothpick. That was a hard sentence to get out. Vlogmas. So we are in full effect Vlogmas. And it's definitely a challenge because I am not a stay at home mom. I work and then I come home and I have to prepare dinner and blah, blah, blah. So. It's been, it's been interesting, um, you know, vlogging um, every day and making sure that a video is um, edited every day. It's insane. Um, and people are, have already like been like, oh my God, you're so brave to do Vlogmas. And I'm like, I'm seeing now. So are we gonna make it the whole 25 days? Don't quote me, <laughs> I don't know. And I'm not gonna feel bad either if we don't make it the whole 25 days because I've seen full on YouTubers, you know, that are stay at home moms and they do YouTube for a living and they don't even make it the 25 days. So if we don't make it the 25 days, know that we tried, okay? It's, it's, it's interesting, but um, yeah. I mean, I love vlogging, but trying to do it and then edit a video every night has been. Are you okay? And I have two toddlers, two crazy rambunctious toddlers. One's three, one's two, very adventurous children, not scared of anything, always into something, toddlers, so.
No, that's daddy's shirt. Put that down, please. Put that down, please. Mm -mm. My husband also works full time. And um, it's interesting. It's like, it's, it's me, you know, and my husband. We both work full time. And it's just, it's crazy. My sister though, my sister did a, you know, by herself with two children. So I'm not complaining about um, that I'm all so busy and all this stuff, but I am busy. And it is crazy being a mommy of two toddlers and working full time and trying to be a wife, trying to be a good wife at that, you know, pay attention to my hubby and all this stuff and cook and him doing the same things, you know being a good daddy, being a good father, and working, trying to make sure, you know, that we make ends meet, all that great stuff. So, it's it's a, it's a challenge, but we're in it together. That's the good thing about it, is that I have him to lean on, on my weak, you know, spots, and he has me to lean on in his weak spots. So, yeah. And that's what marriage and a motherhood is looking at looking like right now it's challenging but i'm obviously enjoying the ride i love my kids they're crazy but they're super smart it's very interesting that your child turns another year older and they just start changing they become way smarter they start using words that you're like how did you how do you even know what that means personality changing and that's awesome i was just talking about you say hi to the camera <laughs> that's wizard kelly y'all y'all got to see his face today so yeah let's see how this cake is doing i keep saying cake it's bread let's see how the bread is doing this is how the bread is looking it looks a little bit cray cray how it's coming out but let's stick a fork in it it came out clean so i think the cake is done it's nice and brown so i'm gonna take it out and let it cool so i can cut the kids a piece of it Is it good, BJ? Yeah, I'll go. I heard it from right. the biggest food critics. It's amazing. They really love it. So yeah, we just baked bread in a toaster oven. I thought you said you didn't want none. I did. Anyways, so they love it. We just baked bread in a toaster oven successfully. So if you have a toaster oven but thinking about getting a toaster oven, I would highly suggest it. You can do so many things with it. It's not just for toast. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this girl chat slash bake with me, kind of. But um, if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you like content like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye.